Hey everyone, Brooke here. I hope wherever you are in the world, today is treating you well. So in today's video, I am just doing a quick follow-up, letting you guys know where I'm at, letting you know how the raw foods and the fasting is working for me. And also, I wanted to do a little announcement here that I am going to be doing a daily vlog series on this channel, and it's going to be kind of like a series, um, I'm gonna do different challenges. It's going to be really about weight loss. So the first challenge I'm doing is going to be losing 15 pounds in 30 days. So for those of you who are like, oh, well, is that like that big of a challenge? You Can you do 20 pounds? Can you do 30 pounds? And honestly, the truth is I want to have manageable goals because I believe that weight loss is not a sprint, it's a marathon. I'm sure you've heard that before, but it is really true. It's um, something that you want to change in your life. You know, every single day you want to change something small. You want to really be consistent. And I think that's more important than just going out there and losing 50 pounds and then possibly gaining it back and some, you know, later down the road. So my first challenge on the series that I'm going to be doing is losing 15 pounds in 30 days. Now I can possibly lose 20 pounds. I can possibly only lose 10 pounds, whatever it is, I'm going to embrace and I'm going to be consistent and I'm going to bring you all on this little journey with me. Um, now as the fasting goes, um, I've been getting questions and comments in the comments below. Thank you so much for leaving comments. I really do enjoy talking to everyone. It's a lot of fun. You know, for those of you who have been following me for a little while, you know that I'm a woman in the trades. I'm a busy mom. I got a lot going on in my life. So I don't have many room, um, much room for like friendships and, you know, going to group gatherings and things like that. So I don't even have social media really. I have an Instagram page that I barely follow that I really don't do anything on. Um, I post some pictures, but I only got like nine pictures on it. Um, but I really just talk to um, some subscribers on, on that, um, on that Instagram page. But, uh, but I really like talking with people that watch my videos and answering any questions. And I thought a really good idea was um, for every vlog that I'm doing, I just got a camera, I just got a whole setup, so it's gonna be a lot easier for me. Um, it may not have the green screen in the back, but it's going to be a consistent video. Some may be good, some may not be so good, but it's gonna be consistent. But one thing I really like the idea of is people asking questions in the comments below and then like I can address it in the next video. So for example, someone had asked me a question about um, sharing like a fasting schedule and that's something that I can share in my video is like, hey, listen, these are the days that I'm doing fasting. These are the days that I'm doing I IF. Um, these are the days that I'm doing all raw foods. These are, you know what I mean? Like that kind of stuff. So, uh, what I'm really going to be doing is just documenting my weight loss journey. And hopefully it's inspiring to those who want to start their own weight loss journey. I think YouTube is a really good avenue for accountability and also just to watch your progress. Also just to keep you on your toes. Like, Hey, you know, people are watching you. They're waiting to see what you're going to do. They're waiting to see, you know, if you're being consistent with your goals, if you're staying on track. So that's really what I'm um, using YouTube for. And for any friends that I make along the way, I'm grateful. I feel very blessed that um, I am able to, you know, do this type of thing and just really commit myself to it and also meet friends along the way. Um, but with that said, I just want to kind of get that out of the way. I am starting that series tomorrow and it is, let me see what date it is. So it's going to be Wednesday the 10th. Um, I am a, like I said, a busy mom. I work in the trades. I'm a plumbing apprentice. So a lot of times I'm not going to have makeup on. Um, I'll try to look presentable, but sometimes I may just have like my, my vest on my high, high vis vest and, you know, look a little rough, but you know, I'm just, just letting you guys know that. Um, but with that said, I wanted to let you know that I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm glad I cut out bread. Bread makes me so friggin' crazy. And that's probably going to be one of the topics of the videos. So like when I do these videos, I'm going to do like one day I'll talk about bread or I'll talk about whatever. I'll talk about something like, um, you know, cutting sodas out, cutting things like that out. Um, I'm not someone that eats, dr that drinks soda, but I am someone that, um, indulges in like sugary treats. So maybe I'll have a topic on that one day and it's going to be check-ins. It's going to be different topics. So I hope you guys will join me for that. I think it'll be a, it'll be a lot of fun to do, but as far as how I'm feeling and the consistency, I am just staying on track. I am just doing my best. Some days, you know, I may fall behind and I'm like, damn it. But for the most part, I'm really sticking to my goal. I am down a few pounds. I'm happy about that. I've been able to keep that weight off that I lost originally with doing ADF. Um, but since I had gone to IF and doing more raw foods, the weight loss has kind of slowed down. So 
um, I really want to, you know, keep the ADF in like twice a week. I think that's probably going to be my, um, or I'm sorry, I do like a two, five thing fast two days a week. And then the rest of the days I'm going to do, um, raw foods, uh, eating only raw foods and then doing intermittent fasting. Um, so I think that'll help. I think it'll be a lot of fun to just play around, to just see what works for my body. Uh, but I do believe that fasting has real true benefits and raw foods is great, but if your body's not cleansed, if you're not clean, if you have a lot of like garbage built up, uh, you know, maybe you have high cholesterol, maybe you have a lot of stuff going on. Um, like in, in my example, my thyroid issue is like, it's going to take some time to get to a goal, right? So like my goals for my weight loss, um, it shifts like in the sense of, you know, my ideal weight loss or my ideal body weight would be like 125 pounds, you know, because uh, I'm short and I'm, uh, my, my frame is actually small, but I just got a little, um, extra to love, right. <laughs> Which I wouldn't even have a problem with, but it's just the health, you know, the health implications of being overweight like that. So, um, so my goal is to get down to first, it's going to be 145. So, and then I'll move kind of like move the goal post every five pounds, whatever. But my initial weight loss from now I'm 185 is to, is to lose 40 pounds. Um, and I think I can do that. I think I can do that within the year. And my doctor also believes that I can do that as well. Um, so I'm going to, to stick to that. I'm going to, um, share with you all my journey, my fasting journey. Um, ADF is, I think a wonderful way to fast. Uh, right now I'm playing around with it just because of my work, like the way, like how manual intensive my job is. Um, I am in the heat. I am on roofs. Like I, I'll show you this. I have, uh, this is, this is kind of nasty, so I apologize, but I got burned from a, um, what was it? Uh, eh, 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 I forgot what it was a bit. I, I was, I was like drilling into like this, um, this Q decking that I'm working in and you know, it's hot out. I'm thirsty. I'm drinking like a fish. I drink water all the time. I got my coldest water bottle, even though I hate that damn bottle. I just don't want to pay for a new water bottle. But I have this water bottle. I'm drinking like a fish. And, you know, sometimes when you're in the heat, it's like, ugh. It's like really, it, it takes a lot out of you, right? So I um, I did something stupid and I like hit the drill bit on my arm and it burned it. And now it's like, this is like almost a week ago. So it just hurts. It's bothering me. But, uh, but yeah, I only bring that up because I feel like after a hard day's work, I need to eat something. That's how I feel like as of right now. If I don't eat, I feel like I can just go to sleep, but generally speaking, I want my fasting days right now to be like Friday to Monday because I feel like I can do that. But when I'm out in the heat, when I'm working like my butt off, I feel like I need, you know, fructose. I need like watermelon. I need like some type of food, right? Um, and, and that ideally is like salads and, you know, staying away from bread, staying away from sugary treats. I have such a freaking sweet tooth. It's like not even funny. It drives me crazy. I, um, I hope this video is still going. I have a new camera, so I don't know how, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just winging it. But, uh, yeah, I have like such a sweet tooth and I really believe that like most people, and this is what my doctor was telling me about like two weeks ago when I saw him, most people have candida. Um, so a lot of times, like when you're craving sugar, it's really like a candida issue. Uh, so when you stop eating foods that feed candida, such as like breads, different starches, uh, you know, sweets, things like that, just other garbage. Just think of any like standard American diet food. Um, and a lot of times that's going to feed the candida, but when you starve your body of that, then the candida dies. So it's, it's just really interesting how that works. And I've always known about candida, but it's kind of like something you just throw in the back of your head. You're like, ah, well, you know, I'll figure it out at some point, you know, later down the road, but I'm done kicking cans down the road with my health. I, I don't have any more cans to kick. So I'm just kind of like, I have to make these changes. And for those of you who are watching, like you're probably watching because you want to make the same type of changes. And I feel like it's definitely possible. And I think it's really, really, really important. Um, so with that said, uh, sorry, it's a little rambly. I don't have like a script or anything like that. I'm just like a, uh, you know, a regular person <laughs> just trying to, uh, document my health journey and, um, and kind of inspire others and meet and meet friends online. Pretty much. That's what, that's what the situation is. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to be doing this little series and I'm going to, um, continue with the fasting, continue with the raw foods. And hopefully I'll start to see some, you know, once I start to implement more fasting, right. Going back to like being more rigorous with the fasting, I'm really looking forward to, um, 
to seeing some some real change. Uh, see, even as I'm like talking, it's like I have this this twitch in my eye. It's like I just have I'm like my nerves are shot. You know what I mean? Like, has it, have you ever? If anybody ever heard that, leave them a comment below. Like, my mom used to say it all the time. My nerves are shot, but it's like a thing. You know, like when your body's so exhausted from anxiety, from stress, high cortisol dumps, like this stuff takes a toll on you. And there's there's no surprise why people are completely hooked on like Red Bulls, you know, the, the there's something like a live five, is it called five, five something I've seen it. I forgot what it's called, but, uh, you know, like Red Bull, Red Bull Extreme, Red Bull Monsters, all these things that will cause cancer, will cause a heart attack at some point if you keep drinking them. Um, people are addicted to coffee. They're addicted to caffeine. That's another thing that caffeine is a friggin' it is, it is difficult to kick caffeine in my opinion. Um, especially, you know, when you're working like a physical job, you know, and I'm someone that I say, I, I talk about like my career because I, I am someone, and I'll probably, you know, I'll do a video at some other point about it, but, uh, I'm, I'm someone that I wouldn't be able to do like a desk job. I'm not smart enough. You know, like I don't have really have like the brains to like be an accountant or anything like that. So doing manual labor is something that I can make good money on. It's a skill people need and it's all also provides for my family. So, um, you know, if one day I moved to Costa Rica, I'm like, Hey, I can plumb, you know? So it's like, all right, come in, you know, come into our village type of thing, you know? Um, and that's ideally what I would love is like to just take my skills somewhere. But I, I love the idea of just sharing different things with you all, sharing different things with people. You know, you meet so many different people and I've gotten uh, different PMs or different DMs rather, uh, from people just saying that, you know, they appreciate like the refreshing honesty. So I will continue to do that on this channel and share my journey with you all and answer any questions that you have. Uh, so for those of you who want to learn more about what I'm doing, you know, leave a comment, always feel free to message me on Instagram. You can follow me at meet Brooke. Um, I post sometimes I don't post often, but I usually check my, my, um, my social, like the Instagram thing, right? Um, when I'm, when I go on my iPhone, but generally speaking, I carry a light phone. And with that said, I have a review of the light phone coming out. So for those of you who want a more simplistic cell phone device, check out the light phone review. I really enjoy it. It's something different. And I highly recommend it if you want to reduce your cell phone use. But with that said, I am all over the place. I just kind of wanted to do a quick pop in video. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Uh, genuinely hope that today is treating you well. Uh, stay cool out there, especially if you're in New York, if you're on the East Coast, West Coast, wherever. Uh, stay cool, be safe, and um, I will check you guys back again on the next video. Take care, friends.